Hi, this is um, an ELM327 Mini uh, interface. Supports all the OBD2 uh, protocols. I got this off um, off eBay. Um, this is um, the version 1.4, fully compatible. Um, it does say with Talk and um, also for faster communication features. Um, so. I have been wary of um, the new 2.1 versions because it's a cut down version of 1.4 and if you if you google it in it can damage your ECU so um, I think this is like three t played three times as much as what the cheap um, cheap ones on there are at uh, version 2.1 um, I will do um, uh, an analyzer to see um, to see what version I do have because I, I, I haven't tried it yet so you can use uh, an ELM uh, identifier app on uh, the Play Store and that will tell us what version what version it's running um, so yeah if you look here we've got these apps on, on the phone on the uh, tablet so I can use that one identifier I think I'll have a go with Talk and then we've got OBD Car Doctor Piston uh, this other one here, so I, I haven't used any of these yet, but I'll try the identifier first, see um, see what version is in in there, because um, it'd be quite quite interesting um, to see. Um, this is the one I did purchase, um, so it does have a riser board in there. Look inside. So we'll, we'll give it a try in the car. Um, just say here about being wary of the cheap units. That's what they look like inside. The cheap units. Um, if you look at the one, the one I've purchased does have the proper um, ELM chip in there. Um, so you get what you pay for, I guess. Um, yeah. So I'm going to give it a try. Um, so obviously the, the cheap ones are about three pounds. This was like ten pounds. Um, so it's the Bluetooth um, model um, for Android. I think the Wi-Fi ones um, you can get also uh, if you haven't got Android. Um, so this um, this say it's compatible with Talk and uh, will work with faster communication features. Um, so yeah, yeah, I'm going to give it a go. Um, these are the um, protocols and that that it supports. Um, so it's the um, J1850. Um, different broad, broad weights there, um, and then you've got the cam, cam bus um, ones which my car has, and you've got a high so, um, so so they're all the um, protocols that it supports. Um, does say there it works with um, petrols 2001 onwards diesels, um, small and discreet. Uh, you can plug it in. Um, so it tells you here about using it. So I'll follow these instructions, see how we get on, um, and then uh, plug it to the car, and let's um, let's have a go, see if it's um, any good or not. All right, so here we are at the car. Uh, let's go in, find the OBD port on the car. Okay, this is Hyundai i30, um, 2013 model. So if we look down here, just say there, um, fuse and OBD. Um, so we're, we're going to have to remove that first, um, and then we can get access to the port. <coughs> there we go. It's quite easy um, to remove there, and um, just list all your fuses and everything on there. So we'll, we'll, we'll put that out of the way for the time being. Um, so there's the, um, the port connector there, which we're going to connect into, um, as you can see. Um, that's what we're going to connect our device into. So we'll connect that. Um, we'll connect that up now. You can see there's a cutout there on the top, and you'll see on the connector there, cut out here. So match up um, the pattern so you'll get it the right way round. On this, it's showing ELM327 on the top, on the one I've got. So we'll plug that in, into the uh, port. Okay. And then we've just seen a light come on there. 
uh, indicating indicating it's on uh, red um, red light uh, power light. Okay. First thing to do is um, put your Bluetooth on. I'll go to settings, Bluetooth. Now it's showing the device there. Pairing with the device. Okay, it's asking um, for the pairing code. So I'll try one, two, three, four. Okay. So it's showing that it's paired to the device. Okay. So I'll minimise that. What I'll do is open this identifier now. It'll tell me what version it's running. Um, if I go to um, connect, this is the ELM uh, 327i identifier app I've got from um, the Play Store. So this is what I'm going to use now. Uh, so it says um, select connection types. So I'll say Bluetooth. So there's the one I want to select, OBD2. So it's um, connecting to it now. It's running uh, its tests. So it's basically showing now that the one I've purchased, um, these are all what it supports. Um, 43 at version 1. Um, 6 version 1.1, 14 at version 1.2, 13, 1.3, 1 1.3a1, and 8 at version 1.4. There's nothing that's unsupported, uh, so it goes up to version 1.4, uh, which is the one, the one I um, I ordered. Um, so that shows you um, all the commands. That it supports. I can scroll down there. So there, in red, they're the ones that are unsupported. Um, so there are all the commands it supports. Um, which is good, isn't it? It's a good test to do for do anything. Alright, so what I'll do now is switch the ignition on. Okay, ignition's uh, coming on now, and I'll start the um, the talk app. Um, let's start uh, the talk talk app now. Um, you can see um, starts flashing down there. I don't know if you can see it. Communicating, green light. Um, right. So there we go at the top, it's showing it's connected. Um, that one means Bluetooth, and then the car means it's connected to the car. Okay. Um, so this, this is the information that it's come up with now. Um, I've, I've got various things, you can set them up yourself. Um, so if we go to um, settings here, go to um, adapter information. Hang on, wrong one. Go to settings. Um, settings there, that's it. OBD uh, two adapter settings. Connection. So we've got Bluetooth on. Uh, I've got faster communications on. Um, so these are the settings that everything's in there now. Okay. So we um, look at what we've got here. Coolant saying 17 degrees. Emission uh, readiness. Misfire complete. Fuel system complete. Components complete. Uh, catalyst complete. Uh, these haven't run because they haven't switched the engine on yet. Um, and we've got air intake. Um, 17, 18 degrees air temperature 
etc. Right, so what we'll do now, I'll put the ignition on, on the car. Um, as you can see, it's still got Bluetooth on, so the ignition's come on, on the car. Okay, I'll fire the app up, see how quick it connects to it. Um, you see in the corner, the, the car one's the one for connecting to the ECU. Yeah, it's connected straight away. Um, as you can see the green lights on, flashing, so it's communicating with the car. Um, that one there means the Bluetooth, so we already connected that before. Uh, first thing we want to do is go to settings and go to um, settings on that. Okay, go to OBD2 adapter settings, uh, connection type. Obviously, we've got Bluetooth, so that's on. Faster communication. Attempts faster communications with the interface may not work some devices, but this device supports it. So I've ticked that box, uh, that's on. Um, so there are the settings, just making sure that they're, they're all on. So if we go back, click back, um, let's go right to the top. These are just a few things that I've put on um, myself. The engine's not started, but you can see the coolant temperature is showing 17 degrees. Um, this is emission readiness. Um, that on there showing misfire um, complete, uh, fuel system complete, components complete, um, system type spark, catalyst complete. Um, so yeah, these are the different things I've put on there, um, and you can add them as many many as you want. Uh, intake 18 degrees, um, air temperature 15. Um, go down with all different things here um, and you, you can add them things by if we just scroll down if we just press and hold there and we can go add display so we could go graphs dials etc so if I went um, let's say graphs and these are the things that I can add on there um, any anything anything there that you want to add and look at there are all the, the details there scrolling down there so let's let's go on voltage one let's put that one on something new we've not got on let's put large so there you go I've just added that uh, let's move it into a better place so if you hold on it Click on move display, we can move it wherever we want. So that's showing the voltage as a graph. Um, probably 12 and a half. Probably better that if I. Um, let's remove it and put it as a, a dial. I think I'd be happy with a dial. Let's try it. A dial. Um, where was it now? Right down the bottom, won't it? Voltage, that's it. Large. There we go. Let's move it a little bit. Hold on to it. Move display. There we go. So it's showing 14.4 uh, volts as uh, what's coming from the battery uh, currently. Um, so that's good, isn't it? So if we go to settings here, we can go to fault codes. I haven't got any fault codes, but we'll, we'll try it. I hope we haven't anyway. I've not <laughs> first time I've used this, um, so we'll try it. Um, let's show show logged faults. It's requesting. Uh, no uh, stored faults. So that's good, isn't it? There's no stored faults. Let's go um, fault codes again. Um, show any pending faults. Try that. So no pending faults. I think you've got to keep going back into it though, haven't you? Um, show historical faults. Well, that will be interesting.
No, nothing at all. Um, so this is just a quick overview um, of connecting to Talk. Um, it's the first time for me, so um, it's quite simple to do. And I'm filming it as, as I'm doing it, so it's all it's all new to me, and I'll be um, I'll be um, trying all different things on.